Rod, we talked last game about how Jordan Martin looks a little overlooked sometimes and doesn't get the appreciation. I'm assuming that's the same feeling you have about, about Jesper and what he's done in this postseason and what he has done for you since he's come here. Um, yeah, I'm glad you're, you know, I mean, obviously you mentioned him, but he, he, he's very similar to Marty. I mean, they're very similar players, and um, he's not as vocal and he's not as, you know, uh, that kind of a player, but his, his play on the ice, you see that, that effort every night. I mean, that never, I mean, deviates. And then you just love when those guys get rewarded like this and kind of get their due. So he had a great series, had a great playoffs, and both those guys have been huge. Rod, for you guys, that seven straight overtime wins, some you were a player in some and a coach in others, is there something about this group and sort of the mentality and culture that puts you guys in a position to do that? Uh, I did not even know that, so I don't really know how to answer that. Uh, I don't know. My, I think maybe it's just the way we play, the style it fits in, in overtime pretty well, or you know, you just, I don't know. I really don't know how to answer it. I mean, sorry, I can't give you any reason. Rob, j just your just your thoughts on reaching the Eastern Conference yeah. Final. I mean, this is a team that that loses Fetch, loses Teravine, and have plenty of yeah, it's, excuses that they want. I mean, it, I don't think you can understate it. You know, with the guys we have missing, and just I don't know how many teams that would you miss a whole top line out would be able to kind of trug along the way we are and. But it says a lot to these other guys that now are getting some credit. That I mean, if you don't have them, you, you have no chance. And um, yeah, I'm just really proud of the group. That's a, that's it. I mean, I'm this old guy sitting behind the bench and just watching this and enjoying watching how hard everybody's working and together. Right? It's just it's 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 a, it's a great group. Rod, yes, we talked about as being a player, to score the overtime winner. You just kind of sees the puck go in and then it's, everything's just a blur. What is your emotions and reaction as a coach? Do you remember? <laughs> yeah, well, it's it's interesting. I mean, I I enjoy it for them. And it's really, that's what I love about coaching. It's, I've been there and played, and so I had that. And, and now you are you know how exciting it is as a player. And now to get to see these guys enjoy it, oh, man, it gives me chills. Like, I, I had to play back, and I play back so I can hear the crowd. And, like, you know, we just did it in there because that's what it's about. And you just see the... These guys remember that forever now. Like, Piggy's got two of them already this series or in, in these playoffs. Like, you know, 20 years he's going to remember that. He's, it's just he's walking down somewhere and he'll, you know, some might say something and it, you, you never forget that. So we're stacking memories here and they're giving them to me too. So um, it's pretty special. Rod, you, you just put that second power play unit together, mixing mm -hmm. and matching some pieces. They were talking about how they know they're not, probably not going to get much time. They got to shoot, they got to get pucks to the net. Was that kind of your message to them too? I mean, just kind of get out there and, and what did you see that made you want to put those guys well, together? <laughs> yeah, what the, well, the other group didn't wasn't doing too much, and to be honest, it was interesting because you had a minute there, you have your timeout, and you're like, okay, we go to we're, Jeff, we're talking, do we take the timeout, let these guys go, and I'm I'm like, no, you know, Stats is a great face-off guy, and it's just kind of a feel. I said, let's let these guys get a crack at it and he won the draw and you know they run their set and quickie's been thrown on there uh, doesn't play much on the power play but i know one thing he's going to stand in front and uh you know he got reward for it i guess that was a question for well, why did you put him on there well, i guess it was last game yeah. well there's a bunch of reasons um mostly on a power play the good ones all the hands match and i don't want to get in on it but it's just getting the hands when you're trying to run low play you got to have the hands match and that's part of the problem sometimes on a power play doesn't click is because the hands don't match you got good players but the, the hands don't match so it was just we needed a righty on the, at the goal line and he was the next one up and just can you can you encapsulate what jacob slavin's impact is in a series like this just yeah. i mean controlling the play it's unreal I mean, we, we, I think we appreciate him because we talk about him quite a bit and we watch him all the time. And I've watched him now for many years. And I, I, he's, he's, he might be one of the best defensemen ever to play that position the way he plays it. And, you know, everyone raised their eyes. I mean, don't watch it every night, but I'm just, at the defending, I haven't seen anyone better. And, you know, and he has offensive ability. Like, you watch that play in overtime, he comes down the ice and beats the play, no look, backhand pass. Like, 
he's got that. We don't use him in that role as much, but he, he has that ability. And, um, you know, it's a great pair. You, put, you know, when, when you put Burnsy with, with him, that's as good as they get. Brad, just your overall thoughts on not just tonight's game, but the series against New Jersey, and maybe if your experience was overriding factor. Oh, uh, I don't know. Um, I, I, I don't know what to say about it. I just know that we had a real good game plan coming in, and I give I got to give my uh, my staff real good credit, and especially Chris Huffine, our video coach. Like he he pinpointed a bunch of things that we had to make sure we were aware of, and then we hammered home, and then and make sure to eliminate. And I thought we did a heck of a job doing that. So, um, you know, I think that had a huge part of it. Rod, and I'm not suggesting your team would not have confidence, but going back to your point about the three forwards who were out, does the fact that some of these guys, the step-up guys that we've seen, maybe solidify now the confidence that it can be done without them now well, that we've won two rounds? Yeah. Well, now for sure. I mean, I think we already had a strong belief just the way we – we played all year, and we, you know, we were missing. You know, we talked about Patrick. Right? We missed him basically the whole year, but there was that sense that we were going to get him back. And you know, okay, there's that missing piece, and so that didn't happen. The special one is tough because we know how a bit lead player he is. Um, but we did have a little bit of time without him, and we kind of. Eh, but I, I thought as a group we were we were okay. Right? We played okay. We didn't get a lot of results there in the last little bit, but it was like it wasn't like we were not good enough to win. And then obviously, you know, we've, we've been able to get to that first series. And now obviously beating the Devils is one of the best teams in hockey. So we should be pretty confident. Lindy mentioned that he's now lost two series here on pucks over the glass. Mm -hmm. Did you have flashes of that? When, no, when I didn't even think about it, to be <laughs> honest with you. But, you know, it's a penalty, you know. So that one it is easy. But you, you can't complain about it. So, you know, the other ones, you, you know, sometimes a penalty, you're like, oh, I shouldn't. That's just black and white, so it is what it is. Rod, it's, I, we in the media kind of like to think in narratives a lot of the times, but does, is there anything different about this team than maybe the past two years, or just is there anything else of the nature of it? Uh, I think we're a little, like, I think one of, the, one of you guys just mentioned about there's a little more experience. I think, you know, sometimes, you know, you have to, you know, I hate to say you learn to lose before you can learn to win, but you, there's there's it's part of that. You know when you you're what it, what it takes, and I think there's a little bit of that for sure. Um, I mean, our guys are growing up. The young guys are not so young anymore, but I think the additions we made. You know I keep going back to Burnsy. Uh, again, I know he's a little older, but man, he's a, a special player, and I mean I don't know where we'd be without him. So got to give our management a lot of credit for finding these guys and then even you know our guys that are helping us out you know I mean Nason's been phenomenal this year and Mac comes in we, we just everyone that stepped up has helped like that's that's the part that that's I think why we're still talking about our, our team and will be for at least another round right like it's, it's a pretty good group okay thank you